going on guys? My name is Shane and real quick I'm going to make this intro short and sweet because today's video is going to be a lengthy one. Um, I apologize if my energy might seem a little bit down. I purposely did this video today because I'm having a really um, emotional emotionally draining day. I'm fighting back tears. <laughs> and it also doesn't help that I woke up at 2 in the morning and I haven't been able to go back, uh, back to sleep. So I am just very, very tired and I... This is one of those videos that I really enjoy filming. Um, I've never been able to do like a back to school haul, but I've always been able to do like fall haul. So instead of a fall haul, we're doing back to school haul. I have a little bit of a pick me up here. <laughs> so with that being out of the way, I also need to show you guys something real quick because I got a package in the mail and this is actually for Ella's birthday party. So I wanted to make sure um, that I got it out as soon as possible. This company reached out to me and I think they might have been let me pull up my emails here. Here, They might have been one of the companies that I ordered from um, when I bought all of Ella's unicorn stuff. But this guy got in touch with me saying that he runs a party supply company and would love to send me a product to further complement my daughter's unicorn party if it has not passed. Um, I'm going to go on the Amazon link real quick to see what the company is called. N&S Goods, but it's fulfilled by Amazon... Oh crap. Okay. Um, currently I'm signed out of Amazon on my phone, so I'm not going to be able to see if this came from another, like something else I ordered, but I'll leave all that in the description. If you want to see what other products they have, I'll leave a link, um, to this product as well, but they wanted to send me something to go along with Ella's unicorn party coming up at the end of August. And I said, sure, because they were totally willing to give me um, the freedom for an honest opinion. That is the only way that I ever do collabs or sponsored videos is if they send me the product. I'm gonna tell you guys how I feel about the product. That's super important to me. My channel is never about trying to sell you guys something. I'm not as good salesperson as it is. As the people at Forever 21, I was never able to sell a credit card. So I'm not interested in selling products. But like I said, if somebody wants to send me something, that's totally fine. Um, but it has to be okay that my opinion is my own and I make sure like that's all in email and everything. Um, but they sent me, oh. I feel like there's a lot more than I expected. <laughs> but they sent me a whole bunch of unicorn headbands. Holy smokes, I did not think I was gonna be getting it that much. But I thought this would be such a cute um, little thing because I know if you watched my birthday party haul, you know that Ella has her own little unicorn happy birthday headband. But I also attached little unicorn like glasses to the goodie bag. So I also thought it would be really cute for like the adults and like some of the older kids if they wanted to just throw on a headband. <laughs> Come here. There's a lot in here, so you can have one. What color? Oh, I like really this hot pink color. Well, that, oh yeah, okay, the hot pink one? I'll give you one. Mom, are you gonna wear one of them too? I'm gonna wear one during your birthday party. I'm gonna hand them out to the adults that would wanna wear them. Hold on, it's got like a little elastic. So I'm gonna quickly talk to you guys about the quality. Go ahead, come here. <laughs> What do you think? It looks cute. What colors should I wear? The pink one too? You should wear a beautiful blue one. Beautiful blue one. Okay, I'm gonna wear a blue one for the rest of the video. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. All right, mommy's gonna wear a beautiful blue one for the rest of the video. What do you think? <laughs> Very cute. Okay, kisses. I love you. So yeah, they're, I mean, they're super cute. They are kind of flimsy. Like I wouldn't like bend it too much. You know what I mean? It is going to snap. But I do like how the unicorn horn actually has like the lines through it. I don't know. It's super cute. This is something that I would totally wear or I am going to wear during her birthday party. And like I said, my, my family is so fun spirited that I feel like a lot of the adults wouldn't mind wearing these at the party and everybody's got... got Oh, I gotta get your horse. Everybody would like put one on and we would just like have a party. Obviously, I'm not gonna make anybody wear them. Um, but I got a lot in here. These packs came in packs of five because I have four of each of these left. So they came in five and I got 
one, two, three, four, five, six different colors. So I'm gonna have more than enough to pass around during her party. Thank you so much for sending these to me. I really do think they're super adorable and they're just one of those things that like, I feel like I could even put these in one of my bathrooms and like use them when I'm washing my face or taking off my makeup or something because they do have the little teeth so they stay in fairly well. So I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to go support. I love supporting small businesses and it means a lot to me. Now, I don't mean a rush but <laughs> we, when I say we got so much to show today, we have so much to show. I have one gigantic bag. Okay, mostly from Burlington. And then I have another big Claire's bags with little bags inside. And then I have her backpack, which I'm gonna show at the end too. So I think I'm gonna start, I don't know where to start. I think I'm gonna start with the Claire's bag because this has been sitting in my bedroom for a couple months, so I sort of, sort of forget what's in here. Oh my goodness, I feel like I, I went overboard, <laughs> as I normally do. Let's get all these like little bags. So I see the children's place, Claire's obviously, Burlington Coat Factory, um, some of Walmart, and I think, I think that's all the stores, but, oh, and Amazon as well. So the first product I will show you guys on Amazon, and I, I'll also leave this linked because I think they're super duper duper handy if you have, um, especially little girls who like to wear dresses. I didn't really like to wear dresses when I was young, but that's like all my daughter likes to wear. But the problem with little girls wearing dresses is they're playing. <laughs> they don't really know how to sit like a lady quite yet. So unless they're in pull-ups, um, you know, at least I wouldn't want my child's undergarments showing to the entire world. So I went on Amazon and I bought their like, I think they're called biker shorts. Uh, the girl shorts. Uh, came in a pack like this. It was super inexpensive and they come in a ton of colors. She's actually currently wearing the hot pink. So they have a hot pink, green, blue, red, gray, white, purple, black, light pink. Well, like a super light pink and then a baby pink as well. So they would have like any color that you would need to match the dress. What's the matter? Oh, <laughs> okay. Quinker. <laughs> Quick intermission. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was hilarious. I wish I could, I, I'm not even gonna embarrass her, but that was absolutely hilarious. Um, anyways, I just feel like this is definitely a staple in any little girl's collection. I wish I bought this at the beginning of <laughs> summer, but here it is August and I got it like two, three days ago. Um, but this is definitely gonna come in handy, you know, for school and everything. Okay, so let's just go ahead. Um, I have a couple bags from Walmart we're just gonna go through. So from Walmart, I didn't go crazy with the clothes, but I did find, oh, I found change. <laughs> I did find a couple cute items. Woo! Keep in mind that everything I tried to buy, it's a fall and a winter haul. So there are a couple like short sleeve things I got for her, but everything that I bought, I try to be mindful that it's gonna get very, very cold very, very fast. So I didn't wanna buy anything um, warm for warm weather. So I figured anything that I bought that was like a warm item would be paired with a jacket and tights. I prepared, don't worry. But the first item just came from Walmart and it's this adorable little overall skirt. Um, it kind of has like a tool material on the bottom. I loved the shirt that came underneath as well. I figured she could wear it with or without the overalls. I could even get pants in the same color and pair it with the shirt, but I thought it was super adorable. She's still in five T's <laughs> um, when it comes to outfits and stuff, which is crazy. Like she's super long in the legs, but I didn't have to buy any jeans. You're not, I don't think you're gonna see any jeans in this haul because people bought bigger sizes for her on previous birthdays. So I have like a ton of size five tons of five six so she's getting a little bit short in like the size five pants but when it comes to the shirt she's so tiny that she still fits in size fives at least for fall and winter we'll revisit that in uh may when we shop for the spring stuff and then i bought her this adorable little 
I should probably just take the hangers off because I have regular hangers, but I bought her this adorable little denim shirt. Um, I figured this would be perfect for apple picking during, um, I mean, pretty much the fall. Denim's always in, but it is a little high-low and has a little tight in the front as well. And then the last piece of clothing that I got from Walmart, again, keeping in mind that this will be paired with um, tights, <laughs> is this little leopard print skirt. And you're actually gonna see a shirt that would match this, but it would definitely need a jacket, definitely need some tights. We're gonna get some black boots for her as well. That's the only thing is my shopping is not 100% complete. I literally need like, one pair of sneakers, one pair of flats, one pair of boots, and a raincoat, and we're calling it a day. So I figured I was complete enough. Um, so you know, this would be paired with tights and a boot, uh, tights, boots, and a, a really cute top. I don't mean to jump all over the place, but I do see more Walmart items in here, and I'm trying to keep things organized by store. So if you see something that you really like, it's kind of easier to remember where you, uh, where I got it. Now I went shopping before I got the email that <laughs> kindergarten doesn't need any supplies whatsoever. Supply school shopping begins grade one. Um, the, the school supplies everything that kindergarten would need. Again, I got that email after I went shopping, so I'm gonna show you the school supplies I got anyways. Um, but they said that she needed one folder. I even went on the website and I looked up like kindergarten school shopping list and this is what they told me to buy until said email. So they said they needed a folder, um, but it's okay because I can totally just save this stuff and use it again for next year. Uh, then she needed a little composition book, which I thought was weird, but at the same time, I didn't know if they were gonna like practice letters. I followed the list. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> we got a pencil case, but then I ended up finding, oh here, I ended up finding this pencil case, which was so cute. It has a little kitten on it, but now, now it's just be gonna become her uh, little toy box. Ella, I'll buy a new one next year. Ella, come here, here. You're not gonna need this for school this year, so you can use it for your toys. Thank you. You're welcome. Can you clip off these keys? I me? will after, oh. Okay, so she's got that for her toys now. <laughs> we can buy again another one next year. Um, but I ended up buying her some washable markers. These will still be used. These were Kleenex tissue wipes. We got a pack of 24 crayons. These were the, we might, I might just end up saving these as well, um, but these are like pre-sharpened number two pencils. Pair of kid scissors, which we already have at home, so I'm gonna keep this packed. Like I literally use kid scissors to open half of the stuff today, so I'm gonna keep these packed up and we'll save them for next year. We also have glue sticks. We have both the gel kind and the dispense or oh, disappearing purple kind is three of each this stuff makes me so excited <laughs> like i i real talk real quick i i loved school as a kid when it got into like middle and high school i was getting over it but like elementary that was my jam and then the last thing in here why do I have change in like all of these bags? <laughs> the last thing in here was just these like little eraser pencil toppers. So that'll be saved as well. All right, I believe Walmart is done. I do have a little package of undies here, but just I'm trying to protect my child, y'all. So I'm not gonna, not gonna show her undies. Just believe me. I think we're gonna move on to Claire's real quick, which once again has change in it. <laughs> So far, I have five cents. <laughs> Claire's is super simple. Um, I ended up just getting a couple things. Why did I get such a big bag? Oh, you know why? Uh, it also had some party supplies in here. I was like, why did I get such a big bag? But now I remember. There's just a couple things that we got from Claire's. And I actually showed these in a vlog, so I'm gonna just fly through them if you didn't see them. It's all literally just headbands. We got this pack of 
sparkly multicolored headbands and then we got two stretchy headbands we got this like rose gold lavender and white headband and I did make sure that these fit in store and then we got this gold gold headband with yellow flowers as well so we have some new accessories we're moving on to the children's place I don't normally shop at the children's place I think it's super overpriced <laughs> I don't like paying more for my four-year-old clothes than I do for my clothes I feel like that's a bit ridiculous there's literally a quarter of the fabric like what am I paying for so they did have a big sale so that's what kind of drew me in but like I was still paying I think well I think everything was 50% off but when you take 50% off of like a $32 sweater you're still paying like 50 no 16 bucks for the sweater you know what I mean it's a little more reasonable but so the first thing I got was this little butterfly sweater and she didn't really need like a lot of long sleeves what she really needed was just like cute and comfortable sweaters so I did get her this one with the sequins in the front this was originally $29.95 so I paid 15 bucks for it like redonkulous and then I picked her up a couple little leggings because I felt like like with the denim shirt that I showed you guys she would need like a little pair of leggings to go underneath so I picked up a black pair which is in size 5 and 6 and a gray pair oh and I also picked up an olive pair <laughs> see it's been a while I picked that one up too why do I have a sock in here? All right, moving on to ooh, one giant bag done. Now we got this giant bag. I love shopping at Burlington Coat Factory. If you guys have one near you, I don't really shop there for like clothes for myself, but I know they have a ton of women apparel, ton of men apparel. I shop there for my kids because again I don't like paying 30 bucks for a flipping sweater for myself so I don't want to pay for one that she's gonna outgrow in a six months maybe that's just me being stingy maybe that's just me being frugal I don't care that's just the way that I like to shop so I like going to Burlington Coat Factory because I can still pay $16 but like that's the most that I'm gonna pay for a set which can come with a jacket, a shirt, and pants, like I'm gonna show you. Again, I didn't need her any jeans, but I wanted her to have some stretchy pants as well. So I did pick her up this pair of pants. One is a unicorn, and it seems a little bit long, to be honest with you, but again, they were size five and six. So if they don't fit her this year, we can just recycle into the next year but it just comes with a plain black pair of pants and I already do have the black leggings but it's convenient to have more than one pair and then I picked her up this um little unicorn leggings as well this was the shirt that I was talking about that I could also pair with a leopard shirt because or a cheetah shirt I think um because it does have the little cheetah hearts on it so it's pink um but then I figured I could just throw like a little oh my gosh if I threw like a little leather jacket she used to have one I don't think it fits anymore so I'll have to add that to my list but I want to get her a little leather jacket um the cheetah sh cheetah skirt why can't I think today the black tights and pair of black boots she looks so cute then I picked her up this is what I meant by the set so it always comes with pants and a shirt um, sometimes a jacket but this one didn't it came with this big knitted sweater it actually has like some gold I don't know if my camera is gonna pick it up or not you can kind of see it uh, in the in the light but it has some gold like little glitters on it and then the pants were this navy blue but it has a stripe of gold down the side and this one was just to kind of like give you guys an idea this one was $9.99 so I love it there then we also got this other little set this is a mini mouse Ooh, excuse me mini mouse set and it says fabulously original super soft um, actually comes with a little hood too which I'm just now noticing and then the pants are really really cute as well they're just black and then they have Minnie Mouse's um, 
bows on them with pink polka dots so super adorable and like what i like about these two is like you already have an outfit put together on those busy school mornings when you just don't have time to think i'm gonna help her pre-plan her outfits at night that's what i used to do at my mom's and it just kind of made the morning go a little more smoothly especially with a newborn in january i don't want to be fighting with her about what to wear to school so i like that these some of these are already kind of put together for you then i got her this it's a ooh, little bit of a heavier sweater but it's from the brand juicy couture so it says juicy on the front it has a little gold buckles and then kind of like a peplum bottom the pants are just black pants with hot pink and light pink roses and like i said i like that these also can be mixed and matched like if i wanted to take this and pair it with like a light pink long sleeve i could do that that day i don't have to just pair it with this and same thing with this if i want to pair this with a black pair of leggings i could do so so it gives us options oh sorry the um mini mouse set was also $9.99 and this one I think it was a little pricier just because of the brand it says originally $70 are you joking I paid $15 $14.99 for this so like some things are a little bit more pricey but like I said I think either this one or a $16 one is the most that I paid for any set that we found actually this might be the $16 one because it also comes with a jacket. So I loved the olive green jacket with this outfit. It also comes with a shirt underneath. So this is like a jacket that's just light enough when it gets a little tiny bit chilly outside. Um, other than that, it can be a fashion jacket. Then it has this little bumblebee with flowers on the inside that says BU. And then the pants are just super plain. They're black or they're, hello, I can't. <laughs> can't think today they're uh just like jean colored but they're stretchy and then they have the flowers on the bottom as well this one was drum laurel 15.99 if i can find the tag 16.99 so i paid 17 at the most my bad but again i'll pay 17 dollars and get three pieces where i paid 16 dollars for the sweater and got one the rest of the stuff in here I do have one pair of shoes to show you guys. I really didn't find um, a lot of shoes at Burlington, um, not in her size. She's officially gotten out of like baby sizes, I guess, and she started in youth sizes and youth in America starts from like, I think 12 and a half and then goes to one and then you go into woman sizes where it goes back up again. I don't know, but she's in size 12, which sounds huge, <laughs> but it's not. Um, but we tried these on in store. Oh my God, like look, <gasps> you guys. I love fall fashion, I really do. Just super cute. I always try to get her a pair of black boots, brown boots, um, and then a couple other shoes that I mentioned earlier as well. So we have the little brown boots. Their shoes, this was 23. $22.99, so $23. Um, so their shoes are a little bit more pricey than the clothes themselves, but I feel like you're saving so much on clothes that it kind of cancels each other out a little bit. I also picked her up a new pack of socks. Um, she definitely needs some. She's either, I can't find the other pair because I stick them in random bags or they're just kind of getting grimy after a while. So I got her a new pair of socks. I don't think these in particular have any sort of design. Like I see some that are plain. I think that's a unicorn, some that have rainbow. So just the little girl standard socks. And then I also picked her up two packs of tights, one um, gray and black, but the gray is like sparkly for possibly the holidays. And then a kind of an ivory color and a pink color as well. And both of these were $5. And the socks, by the way, were $5.99. Oh my goodness. So that is all the bags. The last thing I have to show you guys today is her backpack. And I ordered it from Amazon because we were looking in stores. She wasn't really finding anything that she liked or a lot of the backpacks were like transparent. I'm like, 
I don't want my kid, like, I don't want other kids seeing what my kid has in her bag. I don't know, I just felt like that was a little weird. So we went on Amazon and I had her pick out a backpack and she even picked out the color that she wanted. And I think the moment that it hit me that she's actually going into school, like she's not like a little kid anymore. She's a little girl, but like, where'd my baby go? <laughs> was when I had her try it on. And it's funny because like kids kind of look like turtles because the backpacks seem so big on them. Um, but I did get the smaller size. They do have it in a large, so I will, Sorry, I just said the camera. I will link this in Am on Amazon too, but oh my God, <laughs> are you kidding me? This is so beautiful. I could not be happier with her backpack. It is gorgeous. On the other side, it has like the pink and the blue. So I do have to adjust the straps for her a little bit. Um, you know, obviously all the detail and the hardware is gold. It's awesome and it has plenty of space so even after school like we could use this if we go camping which we want to make at like an annual thing it has so much space that can keep her you know throughout the years every year she would get a new backpack but this will definitely be utilized for vacations or if we're traveling it has tons tons and tons of pockets i'm actually going to put these right in here now um, I do want to get her a little water bottle to fill up for her for every day for school as well. So it has the one big pocket with like little compartments inside and then you open up this flap and then you can unzip this too and it gives you a little bit more space. So it is so adorable. Again, I'll link it on Amazon, uh, the exact one we got if you maybe have a niece um or a daughter who would be super into this bag because i absolutely adore it oh my goodness i feel like this haul has so much preparation to do and i can't believe that i'm actually done <laughs> editing is a different story but i am done filming this stuff can start being put away i am i'm heartbroken <laughs> that she's going to school i want her to stay at home with me forever like the end of the uh, the end of august is gonna be you know, so emotional. Today was an emotional day, but just like for a different reason. But like, you know, we have literally her birthday party and then her first day of school and then her birthday. And then like a week after that, I have her first dentist appointment. And I just, ah, uh, uh, <laughs> don't have children if you don't want your heart broken. Anyways, guys. Thank you so incredibly much for watching this back to school haul. I desperately wanted to film the back boy back to school um, backpacks this year. I had every intention. I had like a full list of what to get as well. And because it's my first year, I severely underestimated how much time I would actually need. And because it's a video that I've been wanting to do for so long and that I wanted to do right, I didn't want to rush it. Um, I wanted you guys to have plenty of time to have the giveaway open. Um, I wanted to give you plenty of time for me to ship it to the winners and for you to get it well before school even started. So if they still needed stuff that they were able to get what they needed. Um, and I just, I severely underestimated that. So I did make like a little post on my um, community tab, but if you missed that, I screwed up this year. I missed, I dropped the ball. But to me, that only means that I can make next year bigger and better and I have a better idea of when to start and I know what I need. So I'm super excited for 2020. We'll have a new baby, we'll have new giveaways. I'm excited. It's literally August and I'm talking about next year. <laughs> I'm gonna shut up now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please go ahead, leave a big thumbs up. And if you don't wanna miss any new videos, hit that subscribe button while you're down there. If you have any comments or questions, find this thumbnail on the community tab or you can find it on Facebook and Instagram. Leave your comment or question there. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.